No, I think Magnus is pretty solid here. I mean, you've got all these melee... You've got... I mean, Ember Spirit's like a pseudo-weird, not-really-melee guy, but Jug's melee, Omni is going to have to get into the fight until he gets Ags. Axe gets into the fight, so that's a lot of opportunities for Magnus to have high-impact RPs. And obviously Empower. Artesia is probably like, could you please get a Magnus and just give me Empower and then AFK for 50 minutes? Thanks in advance. Yeah. <laughs> Can you just sit behind me when you have your Blink Dagger yeah. and just Empower <laughs> Blink away? All the time. Yeah. Please. Bulbas like, oh, <laughs> So this is going to be game one, guys, here between Tongfu NA and Team Tinker. So let's do some roster coverage as uh, we got Baidu Emperor, the only stand-in for the Tongfu side. Cy will be, or CY will be playing your Ember Spirit in mid. We got uh, Linga, or Linga? I don't know how to say his name, on the Lion. And then Wei will be playing your Juggernaut to farm that one position. And offlane will be your uh, Sharknig Godfan, or Sharkney Godfan. And they had some lobby chat banter before, and uh, they were saying how big a fan of Arteezy they were. So maybe they get a little starstruck here, and that'll infect their play. Who knows? <laughs> maybe. Archer is a popular guy. Pretty popular indeed. All right. So on the dire side, uh, like we said, there is a stand-in playing. It's stand-in Tinky Winky, aka R2 Arteezy Babayev. He's going to be playing the Troll Warlord, safe lane farmer, supported by Pilot Die on the Shadow Demon. An unusual hero choice. We'll see what Pilot Die manages to make of it. Your other support is going to be way too sexy. Uh, to to like a pink panda. He's going to be on the Earthshaker. Then middle is going to be black on Zeus up against that Ember Spirit, Ooh. and then the off lane is going to be Bulba on Magnus. Oh, they put black on mid. That's weird. I, I like seeing him play uh, one position, but that's a fight. That's fine. I think black's a pretty. I mean, they can go either way. I think he's um, pretty. Oh, nice. <laughs> that was like a quarter of a sentence. Um, I mean, he played. He actually traded off mid and carry when he played on. Uh, was the chance. CIS. Oh, nice fissure. Okay. And then on VG, I think he played mid SF some games, but usually safely. Alright, so it seems that Team Tinker have picked up both of these bounty runes, and there's some stat out there saying that 63% of teams who do get the first two bounty runes win the game. So, we'll see if that stands true here. It's so anti hype. <laughs> I don't even want to think about that. Alright, game's over, guys. We're going to game two. I I'm mean, just gonna place him to root and get out of here. <laughs> Pretty good start for Tinker, definitely. I I think Tongfu had some play around the runes. I, I think they could have probably at least gone for one. I'm surprised that they sort of seemed to blow, but it's not the end of the world. Yeah. And then uh, Earthshaker obviously blocked for Magnus, which will give Magnus a really, really good start overall. Bounty rune plus free XP from the first wave means he gets level 2, which means he can start Shockwave, get a couple last hits, and still have Skewer really, really fast. That's really, really good for Magnus. Awfully. Yeah, this is all Bubble could ever hope for, so we'll see. And up top, the Axe has already retreated out. He's still level 1, took counter Helix, and uh, he doesn't want to deal with any of the Shadow Poison that's coming out from Pile I Die. So he'll... he'll first. Be, yeah. He didn't start, you know, anything else. Just just raw poison. He built up some stacks and harassed off pretty heavily, so we're going to see what Shark can do here in the jungle. Yeah, I mean, that's a fully, like, lock person, lock offlaner out of offlaner focus build. You don't that frequently see poison first i think but he did have he did pack clarity he started clarity tango and boots of speed which means he can maneuver against the axe and get tons of stacks of poison on him it's a kind of an unorthodox defeat choice for pellet uh, all right no already potential though he, true true but once he's level two he could roam you know you just get the disruption and then you just stack up a little bit of poison you're right so, so we'll see we'll see uh black in the meantime in this mid lane is just trouncing CY. <laughs> He's already forced to bottle crow for the first time, and it's, yeah, this this arc lightning harass has been way too much. And As Ember levels, this becomes a more even matchup. It's really mm -hmm. Zeus tilted for Ember's couple levels, but I mean the boundary ring doesn't help because the black is over half a level ahead. Yeah, and it's forcing CY to go two points in the flame guard and. Searing, without Searing Chain, there's no real gank potential, even though there's a lion out there that could smoke up early. And uh, I'm wondering... Oh, he's got, a, he's got a haste rune. Hmm. Where does he go with this? Linga. I'm, I'm not sure that any Searing Chain... Uh, any Sleight of Fist is right. He probably could be 1-0-2 right now, which would give them a little bit more gank. There's the haste. This... Oh, this is going to backfire if he... Never mind. Okay. <laughs> I'm he's like, gonna is he going to go mid? Oh, he, he can get 57. this. Oh, the pig! The pig, he's gonna really go down. Goodbye. Goodbye. Maybe not. <laughs> yup, yup, juking the vision. 
Oh, they got the stun! Oh, <laughs> yeah. That's a pretty sick play for way too, honestly. Oh, I mean, they didn't save the clear, and it had bottle on it, so that's definitely a huge win for Ember, but they did get first blood, so that's good for way too. Oh my I god, way too bought a bottle, and he's gonna give Black the bottle. That is. What really a play! Oh <laughs> uh, no, he sold it. Never mind. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay, okay. That would be sick, though. Just buys the bottle, gives it to him, be like, here to make up space. <laughs> but then later on, that's like a 700 gold invasement that's just Well, no, because the courier lost. bottle can just go to the Earth Shaker then. Yeah, but what's a support Earth Shaker gonna do with the bottle? Is it camp runes? Come on. Yes, I guess. <laughs> Maybe the SD can take the courier bottle. SD can use the bottle. True, true. I mean, he's juggling. Oh. He is? Oh, yeah, he's just poison stacking. He's got two points in it, it's too, so, so he's he has heavily committed. It, yeah. oh, this man. is when you need the other bottle, man. <laughs> just jungle shadow demon. Pick it up, wait to get him. Get him a bottle. But uh, I mean, with mana, you can stack going. a jungle. Like, this This force stack could be split between shadow demon and Zeus if they really want. You mean Shadow Demon and Earthshaker? Because he's still level one. That's that's pretty juicy True. fissurage. As oh, you got a muscle mud golem stack too. Let's see if ES had a bottle. Oh, that's a bottle of regen too. Jeez, you are right. You're 100 percent right there. I mean, that I'm was not, the scenario you would have that needed to walk bottle. all the way back to fountain, pick up the bottle, then walk all the way to the rune. <laughs> Black, can you defend this regen room real quick? <laughs> exactly. All right. Well. This this axe is having a pretty tough time. His his jungling came to just him getting level four and going back into the troll who's level five, almost level six, and it seems like they might be wanting to go for a gank here. Still level one is way too, but a fissure block and he's dead. Yeah, all you need is fissure really, because Artur is high enough level that they could do it. But axe, I think knows that there's probably somebody here. No, oh, oh no no no, he got the wrong side. Well, the 50-50. Oh jeez. Kinda. <laughs> oh, okay, I'm wrong in the 50 50. But... That's the nice way of putting it, but either way, I, I mean, it doesn't it doesn't make that much of an impact. Arthur's farming very well, Black's farming well mid. Boba, is he getting levels? Yeah, he's getting pretty good levels here. So. Yeah. It's all clear so far for Team Tank. Gotta talk about Tong Fu though, you know, they're they're the heavy underdogs here, obviously, with the, the stack that Team Tinker presented them with. And uh, this is. The Lion Haste play was really good, I think. There was no way, he shouldn't have gone for the kill, and he did. He went for the career, which was much smarter, much higher percentage play. So that actually saved the Ember's level, which is what it was otherwise been pretty cool. So Ember's leveling, that's important at this stage. Axe is sort of leveling, which is good. So, I don't know. I don't think they're in horrible shape. The Jug, the main problem for me is Jug is getting massively out farmed. Like, look how far behind Jug is relative to Troll, and he's still taking tons of damage. Yeah, he's he's going for the stat spin at one point in value ward, but uh... Well, where the hell's the point in crit? I, I guess he just doesn't want it. You know, he just doesn't need it. The tier one up top is going to go down with this next battle turn. So, and there it goes. RT's getting the last hit. I guess against Magnus, because usually you take the point in crit and you just walk up to the off later and auto them every so often, but he must be scared that Bulba's going to skewer him to tower. Yeah. I think... But that's what you usually do against a melee off Mm-hmm. What also is the, the value point in the spin, too, is maybe to avoid some of the damage from the shockwave every now and then, but that, that seems it's like a big waste of mana. mana. To yeah. Do that. yeah, you can't do that. No way. You just don't have the mana. The hero has such a cool mana. I'm too optimistic, sorry. And Ling? Uh oh. Disrupted. Big panda or way too. Oh, he actually misses the stun, but it's more of a block. And he's gonna TP out right in front of him. The skewer's there. There you go. And Bulba gets Good the skewer. Magnus Shockwave. He almost TP'd out of that. That would have been annoying. And would have been on the list of another good play. <laughs> so. Alright, two kills for Tanker. Already looking pretty good, net worth wise. No surprise that RTZ and uh, Black are on top. Double arcane boots for Tinker, which is actually, um, I think this game is really smart to have multiple arcane boots on their team because they're so, so mana hungry. It looks like Black is going to go the relatively greedy fast bloodstone build, but I think it's pretty validated here because Tonku hasn't been really making anything happen, and Tinker has been able to play a passive greedy game, which is what they wanted to do in the first place. And this seems to think Mono might go for a kill here. Good triple remnant on top of Black. Look at that damage in the chains, and he's repelled, and there's nothing you can do. See why. Play that phenomenally, and then good uh, repel. From Baidu Emperor. Definitely. Once, I mean, once Emperor gets to levels, he can definitely threaten those. Just, that's why they picked him. It's good that they're managing to make it happen, because if they weren't, then the Ember would really struggle. Mm -hmm. I think em their main bright spot right now is that after starting behind, Ember is actually doing very well. He's ahead of net worth to the Zeus, 
only a little bit behind the troll. Uh, exactly what they need. It both looks like drums for Do they want Bulba here? Ling is kind of going behind. They're hanging it. Can he get the hex? We do have Omni Slash. There's creeps though right by. He's not looking to use it. It bounces between the creeps instead. Oh, Bulba, he gets the self cancel too. He should be dead here. There it is. So not bad. Good uh, execution coming in from Tong Fu so far. Bulba actually played that pretty smart. So, uh, like, I really like that he went south to try to shuck the Omni off, and it actually did work. The Omni went onto the creeps, but unfortunately he wasn't able to. He, like, skewered this way, so he was never in range of the shop to buy TP as he skewered, which is what I think he wanted to do. He wanted to skewer, buy TP, then salve and TP, and he wasn't able to do that, so he had to walk north to get the TP. That's but otherwise, actually, I think he would have escaped. Yeah. <laughs> I, I just just I, I, I look here and there's just a bunch of circles, and I'm like, okay. <laughs> Uh, all right, Boba coming down back towards the spot lane. He might be running into an axe, and uh, he's got to be very careful here. Well, it's no blink axe. He's still about 1k away. True, true. But they can still get uh, the skill. Yeah, they definitely could, but it's not. Oh. RP? RP? Oh, look at the Thunder God's Wrath with that RP. But they get the call before the RP he comes RP. out. Yeah, he didn't well, RP at all. No. He gets Shockwave? Oh. He could even juke that. I think he could have. Mm, if he just ran straight up. <laughs> it's got a wider hitbox than... than one oh, than you think, yeah. Okay. Well, at least they got something, and they, they do save RP, but that's just good use of the Thunder God's Wrath early there. Getting some good damage, and... Then we have, uh, Paidu Emperor. Kinda, kinda off by himself, filling that offlane role. Seeing as to how he won't he die is easy. I mean, Omni wants to level if he really wants fast levels, otherwise he's not he's super useful. Yeah. And the same is true for Shadow Game. Actually, it's, uh, one big thing about this game is that both of those supports are level 6. That's very important for both teams' game plans. Uh, Tong Fu really, really needs the Guardian Angel to win extension engagements against Troll Warlord. And Team Tinker really needs uh, Shadow Demon to get quick levels, especially because he's gotten those Shadow Poison build. If you start 102 and you don't get more levels, you are like worse than a range creep. But <laughs> now that he's level 6, he's got all his spells, he's got a very strong Shadow Poison, and he has a That's. It's gonna be fun to see the team fights of whoever gets repelled is gonna get purged immediately and that target is just gonna get decimated it seems. Uh, Arcane Boots up for the Omni Knight too, so he's getting his farm on. Way, he's uh he's caught up quite a bit. He's right behind RTZ. And are they smoked right now? Oh they are. Mm -hmm. Because they have Guardian Angels, so it's a relatively, as long as they execute correctly, it's a relatively pain free game. And RTZ, oh but he rubbed it up instead. They're gonna get the Chains, purifications, and he's dead. He should be dead. They repelled him, actually. Whoa. <laughs> Bye to Emperor. A little bit of a misclick there. Yeah, that's not, not who you want to be repelling, but... That would fine. actually be a legitimate case of 3-2-2. <laughs> hmm. No, I mean, that happens. I don't know. I know, I know. Here's the big thing. Oh, if this they can clear this, yeah. But it's really risky. A few sleight of fists, you know? And purification, no that's pretty much dead. Rank 1 sleight of fist? <laughs> it's gonna take an hour and all of your mana pool. No, no way. I mean, I just want the dream of it happening, but... Yeah, it would be great, but it's not gonna happen. <laughs> they would need... If, if Axe was there, then yeah, I'm so sure they would take this back. That would, that would actually be... Um, like, 2k net worth swing it would be huge. And it seems that Team Tinker are gonna get that one over the Bulba, too. And he's gonna have his Blink Dagger after this. Yeah, that's actually... It's too bad Axe wasn't with them for the game. That would be game changing. Oh, they're gonna go in, see why, find Pile I Die, and actually slice him down. And I believe he purged too early. The repel came out afterwards. Mm -hmm. I think so. I mean, he didn't have much time. Even the initial hit took most of the victory. Oh, and Black might be Black's dead too. No. Okay. No, he's too scared of because uh, he has no he has no flame guard and Black can ult. Mm. Can you remnant dodge the ulti? No, right? Yes. I mean, it's this stuff, right? So. In theory, you can, but it's Be not tough. ever gonna happen. And Artizi's cheekily trying to do this uh, Roshan right now, but. Uh, let's reset a little bit. Okay, heals back up. Do they know? There's a pink coming out. I believe they do know. But will they contest it? There's Shalem have it. There's pings. They know. It's not the easiest go. thing to contest against uh, when you know there's an Earthshaker and uh, Magnus with Blink. They know he has Blink. Oh, there's the. R oh, that was a great repel. But the RP comes in only onto Ling though. They purify him back up. A double skewer coming in with the GA though, and then Ling. He does get taken down. Thunder God's Wrath comes out from black, and 
Tinky Winky, he's just chasing when Omni slashes the disruption, interrupts the last hit of it though. And way too dodges away. The Revenant comes back, and there you go. CY on a killing spree. Gonna get the chop in from Shark and a double kill for him. And now Arteezy left all alone. Troll by himself, and that's a four for two. That's a huge fight for Tong Fu. Yeah, they had the GA, and it was a pretty it was a sloppy fight from Tinker. The RP had next to no impact, and then everybody was just sort of running around. Way too didn't do that much. He tried to isolate with a Fissure, but it didn't really do much of anything. GA came because there wasn't an RP on the Omni Knight. It was just a good, well executed fight from Tong Fu. Round two? Kind of sloppy from Tinker. Do we really go for round two Probably here? Round two, yeah. <laughs> Our, our tour really wants this wish. The thing about Tom Fu is there's no way that they can really take the road. So all they can do is wait for Team Tinker to try to take it and then steal it. Hmm. So. I, does he have Mask of Madness? Yeah, there's a Mask of Madness they on smoked. this. Uh oh. This is iffy because they don't have Omni Slash, they don't have GA. But, but if they, they don't do have RP this, then they or the Thunder God's Wrath. <laughs> uh, well, the Thunder God's Wrath. Oh, so broke, how I die? He gets called and hexed. Oh, he's just dead. And no chop, just purification steal coming in from Baidu. Emperor CY nice. is gonna find Black. Nice chains coming out. And Black should just go down. Boop, there's a the last hit from Wei. And another little nice exchange. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Team Tinker, Tinker getting picked. Yeah, they weren't ready for that smoke gank. And Tong Fu has amazing vision around the pit because they know the pit's gonna catch this. Oh, wait. Oh. That's free. He's very free. Did they get it? No! Wow! Blink Cole and the two chains on the two. Purification and the chop. Nice. Jeez. That's an outplay, for sure. That actually is rush. Now they just get Oh, the buyback! <laughs> he picked right, up the region, just like instantly true. dies, and like, all right, screw Roche. That's funny. Oh, jeez. Maybe they, hmm. Uh, it's tough to predict that this is going to buy back, but maybe they could have rebelled or something. But they knew that he had regens, so they were like, well, it's going to be fine. That actually, is... a very smart buyback. It prevents Roche. Yeah, that was a perfect buyback. And that's just another series of unfortunate <laughs> events. So, where do we go from here? I mean, Tong Fu demonstrating that they're pretty coordinated in their team fights, man, and they are getting really, really good initiations off and counter engages too. Yeah, no, these this is by all means a. I mean, they're not like a world top level team, but they're a very legitimate team. They're not like they're all composed of strong players. They stack together a lot, so. They're playing very well this game. They have a good strategy. They're playing it properly. And Tinker definitely so far I feel like really interesting. Like, when you use your ults really suboptimally, you can't really hope to win an engagement like that. And now they know they're behind and they have these heroes that aren't that strong from behind. Max Poison SD, uh, under level Earthshaker. And Zeus uh, doesn't really have much of the way of items either, because he was thinking he would get a super fast bloodstone. It's no yeah, just sitting in the soul ring in the arcanes. He goes for Blink Dagger instead. So, a little modification in his build. And uh, he'll be looking to close some gaps very quickly. They want to scout with the Thunder God's Wrath? No. Okay, they, he was just kind of pump faking it, but the Q1's going to go down. Away. Gets the last hit, and they just back away. Playing their game. Hmm. I'm surprised sure. that uh, Bulba hasn't leveled in power yet. I would have thought Arthur would be screaming for it. Ah. But... <laughs> uh... You know, maybe just looking for some more raw damage right now in team fights. Yeah. I mean, it's not bad in team fights either. If you RP and the troll is hitting the stack of players that you RP, mm -hmm. but no, I mean, uh, see why might be in trouble. Probably not. Yeah, yeah searing chains. Just, just RTZ. Too hard. I mean, this is by no means over. Uh, both teams still have, have play in most stages of the game. Team Tinker's gonna want to slow it down at this point because they Smoke are. Smoke broke. Okay. They find way to. Uh oh. Chained up. He's a level 4 Earthshaker. Does stun up CY just a little bit. He's gonna TP right in front of him. They finger him instead. Oh, jeez. It's a pretty worth finger. Line. It's not so bad for Lion to get the gold here so he can go towards Blink. Blink Dagger is huge for Lion in this game. He can really mess up Yeah, that, that Blink Dagger is going to be so much fun to watch. As long as he just Blink Hexes and then just like, oh crap. So, purified up, healed back to full, and ready to just get things underway. They're going to be pushing off this tier 1 right now. And Wade does have Omni Slash, so they, they have to be very careful with how they position. I would consider not to Throwing in illusions, a little bit of a bait. Why isn't gonna bite? Attack. But up top, Artori's doing the uh, the rat thing. Yeah, you almost took a tier two. In a lot of these games, I've been noticing that Arteezy has been picking up uh, the, the Ogre Frost Mage. 
Whenever he has Helmet as Dominator, just armor everybody up, and that armor is actually ridiculously strong. Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, it's no worse than Lich armor, really. It's, it's extremely strong. I mean, wait, early in the game, why would you... Uh, you could take a Wolf, which has almost no survivability, and yeah, it gives you damage, but on a not that big base. Or you can take an Ogre or a Frost Mage and never lose a duel to any hero ever. Yeah. 30% slow, 20 attack slow too. Not bad. I mean, 8 armor. Like that... 8 armor. That's so much. How much armor? 8. Oh, 8. <laughs> I mean, like, if they... It's like a anti-desolator. It's more than an anti-desolator. Like, it's it's ludicrous. So, SNY is completed for our TZ now, and... I mean, he's probably not going to ever give up on this push. He'll, he'll, he might not be joining these fights for a long time until he's ready. And has BKB at least. Mm -hmm. so Other thing about out, the... Up. Yeah. Tower is under but as long as Archer is separate from the team, the team isn't getting the benefit of that process. Mm -hmm. All these things are They're basically a fully physical damage. Perfect timing! Holy crap! Let's go. I don't really favor Tinker in 5v5s yet, though. I still don't have Echo Slam. No, yeah, he's 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 a long ways away. He's got 500 XP more to go. So, you gotta gotta wait for that. His blink dagger isn't coming anytime soon either. And uh, nice. That stacks. That stacks. Oh yeah, he's empowered too. Cleave it down, baby. Get it, Arteezy. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, that's money. Don't feed the troll, guys. Not, yeah, the extra uh, the extra benefit of the stats seems pretty good here. I don't think he's too worried about being hexed, but who knows? Who knows what'll happen at this point? I mean, hex hex finger heal uh, earth spike is a big deal, but so is all of Axe's damage, all of Jug's damage. Here he goes uh, again. Jeez, he just does not want to get out of this pit. This level troll of the bridge is a troll of the pit. The other thing about the cross is the best thing you can have. Remnant scouts. Point. They know. Do they get here in time? I, th I think this is probably it. Let's see. They're getting close. The B Fury is picked up for CY. He can remnant in. The fissure actually doesn't connect. He's gonna get repelled. He gets a slight of fist off, but the Aegis is picked up, and there's a disruption coming out too. So Arteezy's looking to fight a little bit. They get the Omni slash in. Pilot Dad's gonna die, but the RP straight afterwards, and Wei goes down. The slight of fist with Searing Chains makes so much damage. And then they get a stun in onto Arteezy, but he's gonna chase. Repel comes out. Oh, the fissure timing was so close. And now they slow him down too. But Blake Call comes out. They might be able to get this off of Arteezy. The Cult, not in time. The damage coming in from the Zeus too. Let's pick up the Juggernaut. In the lion kill. And Arteezy, he's hungry, he wants it. He's gotta be careful of the call. Oh, ho, ho. they're both playing each other so hard. But Way at 2 actually falls down to the slide of fist damage, and now the Troll bashes. Troll Warlord. Woo. Troll 10%. Warlord, everybody. What a, what a hero. 10% uh, hype. I think actually, hmm, still pretty sloppy from both teams, I think. If Tonku and A had used their abilities uh, even like 10% better, I think they could have dominated that fight. Like, um, for instance, they could have taken the Aegis of RTZ, but what happened was the Ember backs off slightly and the Axe goes in, and Omni heals the Ember instead of the Axe, so the heal damage from the RTZ would have probably killed him. And then I think Axe missed a, missed a cull on RTZ after that. Like, again, if the heal damage goes through, then he definitely gets the cull. He faked the cull there, I think. That, that was what he was okay. doing. He, he saved it for the last time. He tried to get the hit before he blinked, and I uh, just couldn't do it. But even so, if the heal goes through, then he doesn't have to fake it. He just gets that free. Alright, so, I mean, they're good. Now that they have the Aegis, so RTZ's happy. He can stop complaining to his team that he wants Aegis, and, uh... They didn't lose it that fight either, that's the big thing. Had they lost it that last fight, that would have been terrible for them. Yeah, I think a very, very, very important fight for uh, Team Tinker, because now, no, not only do they have the Aegis, but Troll in the last three minutes has picked up like 3k or more Radiant network and work and So it's like an enormous Radiant power differential now. Yeah, he has a full BKB. Yeah, full BKB, tier 1 tower is going down, and... Tier 1 and mid going down for the Tongfu side too, so they're at least trading a little bit here. And you can see that Tong Fu's kind of changed up a little bit. They're not looking for the 5 versus 5 anymore. <laughs> Definitely yeah, want to wait was... up that Aegis. 
they were just a little bit late, it was a little bit questionable, and then they didn't execute 100%. So it's gonna be... The game actually got a lot harder, harder than it seems like. Like, you look at this team, you're like, oh, they're up 15, 15 to 8, but they're not really leading in a more strategic sense. Yeah. And now, Arteezy just gets to have his way with this map. Just going down, taking tier 2. He's like, you can't stop me from taking this tier 2. What you gonna do, huh? You gonna blink it to me? I'm gonna bash you in the first hit. Lion is a little short of blink, so he really doesn't want to fight. Yeah. 175 away. So uh, another back. thing, Jug has to be careful. He, he's got to be careful of how he uses his Mask of Madness in team fights. In the last fight, he, he mobbed in and then he Omni slashed, and then all he got was a Soul Catcher to the base and he got one shot. Oh, yeah, the Amplify damage would stack up there. Mm -hmm. Ugh. That's disgusting. Yeah, SD is in some ways, it's an interesting thing of using SD against Mask of Madness uh, carriers in order to just make them get killed really quickly. Alright, so here we go. The smoke to behind, looking to see how they want to engage, and now tier one, tier two, excuse me. Gonna be going down. It's still really hard. Ember is like good, but no, he doesn't. Oh, he, oh, he didn't blink. Oh. That sucks. He could have definitely taunted the RTZ. That happens a lot. I notice that a lot with a lot of the uh, axe players in these games sometimes. It's just, you just see them call randomly, they're like, oh. Shit. It's, it's usually either because they got. I mean, in this game, it could be because he got whacked by Zeus. I think it's usually server lag. Yeah. Well, we'll fix your stuff. Tier 2. Still? It's sh it should be going down anytime soon. I mean, Team Tinker don't want to overcommit. They don't want to lose the ages for nothing. So, it seems like they're going to back out. Alright. They got deboardage, too. Like, they've been doing pretty well in their warding positions. So, they back out. You can tell with the damage they did, and. And even force you know the line to go up top. Yeah. Overall, I mean, not a, an enormously high impact DJ success. Keeps Tonku completely off the map. He's playing aggressively. It lets Team Tinker set up an aggressive full vision, and it gives our team some space to farm. So, yes, they didn't take that many map objectives, but overall, you're still very happy with what the Sieges gave you. And thinking of late game, Tonku, they still have a chance. No, in that sure. aspect, seeing as the whole troll is really the only the only big right clicker in this team, and everybody really is just looking to defend him. It's kind of like a yeah. an almost four protect one kind of composition. Well, I mean, Zeus late game is pretty crucial too. Yeah, true. Once he has Axe but and Refresher. Uh... The one thing is that um, Arteezy, and this happens a lot on whenever Arteezy is playing, is that he takes up so much farm. Like Black really isn't farming. He only has got a 126 creep creep slaughters, whereas Arteezy has 217. So Black's not really getting that much space. So he is going to have a delayed item development. You can see he has Blink Bloodstone, which is great, but not really giving you any damage. So. True. Oh boy. And they're not if giving this does up drag on, though. It should drag on. I feel like this is going to be one of those 50-60 minute games. You think? Yeah. yeah. Do, I guess. Everybody's getting Blink Daggers. They're, they're setting up for their, their Juke and Java positions. And... They want to get way too. Oh, Slide of Fist, he missed the chain, but wait, what? Oh, the creep killed him. <laughs> yeah, creep damage. I mean, this Ember is really big. This is definitely a problem. He's 5 0 and 8. Like, he's after getting and a kill bottom. Okay, how many that goes down? I saw them all kind of clustered up. Oh, we even got Pilot Eye getting caught out here. We have the spikes, we do. With the call on top, and are there going to be any spins? Nope, doesn't need him. Just chops him down anyway. Shark gets that one kill, and that's a 2 for 1 across the map. Not a, not actually that great of a trade for Tonku because they <laughs> use the GA and that means for two and a half minutes they have essentially no five v five pressure against him. Who says they really need that completely? Come on, they need just GA. Fair enough, but I mean, if they if they want to win, it's, it probably behooves them not to let our target get his items for thirty eight minutes. So. True, <laughs> and it seems that he's going to be going for the Scotty next. So I mean, he's yep. he's one more item away from being just about six That's definitely the item of this game. There's really no doubt. All right, we power it up. Just farm of the jungle. At some point, Tongfu are going to be pressured to do something, and the the Ember Spirit's going to be the one to do it. He's almost got himself a Daedalus. Could go for the double Battle Fury build if he really wants to. I mean, Ember's going to. The thing about it is, no matter how ahead Tinker gets, this Ember's going to be very, very capable of lifting high ground. So, I, I definitely think Tongfu have a lot of play in this game. What does so, he have? Oh, Demon Edge. Okay, so he's going for the Daedalus first. Not that bad. makes sense. You want to be able to one-shot the Earthshaker. 
who is still Pleasantly. extremely under farm. Oh, okay, never mind. He's got it. Just kidding. Unless he walks into a death, wouldn't you? I'm sure he's got auto buy ready, if anything. <laughs> no comment. No comment. All right. <laughs> well, as we head to this point, there's the blank dagger looking for another team fight. The team tinker side looking pretty set with how big Arteezy is, but it's only one person being that big, and there's a lot they have to rely on to keep him alive. Blink on the S could be huge, as long as he doesn't get smashed those side of this and wants to blink in, but that could absolutely be the first fights with something great. Move them from maybe slightly winning fights, which is what they did in the last fight, to convincingly winning fights. Mm-hmm. Oh, scouting. Thunder God's Wrath. Not gonna see anybody up top, and what's Arteezy gonna do? She's gonna push. Empowered, ready to go. 40 seconds left on the re on the uh, respawn of the Roche. And this tower is very low. Blink Call comes in immediately, though. They're gonna try to pull him back for the disruption. There it is, defensively used. Arteezy's fine. Pilot Eye uses his non-traditional non supports very, very well. I think that was a super smart disruption. His disruptions all game with the This is not one of those games where the uh, odd pick doesn't work. So, Pilot Eye I mean, has been doing a good job. Oh, Blink Call comes in again. They got the Omni Slash on top, and there's another good defensive disruption coming out. They look to turn. The RP gets cancelled, though, by the spikes to come on in. But is still beating them down. The GA is there, stopping them for a little bit. They get pushed back, and there's the Echo Slam on top. The damage is too intense. Double kill for Arteezy. Way too getting some revenge for the early game, but Sai is there now. He's gonna get the Remnant out, and uh, that's a three for one. A three for none, excuse me, with the tower going down in the team taker favor, so and that is GA insane. And Omni Slash. I don't even, I can't even, what the heck happened to the Omni Slash? I didn't see anybody really. It got disrupted. It was, it was on Arteezy and then disruption and stopped it completely. So this, yeah, now the SD pick definitely is extremely influential because it completely stopped their team fight ultimates. The GA didn't really do anything else. Great play by Team Tinker for sure. And now it's oh, okay. Now it's really hard. To oh jeez, Scott is going to be coming to him very soon too. And the second egg. Second egg. Oh boy. I uh, yeah. I don't know at this point. See why still doing what he can. He he's still capable of holding off these wave pushes, but. It's only an Ember Spirit spam a slot of fist. Well, this is when the Daedalus gives you a lot more power in two fights, but what it doesn't give you is really the three fight that two battle theories would, so. I don't know. The thing about T Team Tinker's high ground is that they're not really gonna slow siege you. They'll just walk Troll up to the high ground, and then when you initiate, he'll pop BKB and hit you with red clicks. Red clicks that. Just face taking the tier two. Going down. Now they try to break high ground? Seems seems like the that's the idea. Yeah, I, I just I guess I don't really understand what uh Tom Fuane's plan to be RTZ Dire first pick troll was. It doesn't seem like they pick tiers that are that amazing against him. But I don't know. Like Axe is pretty mediocre against troll I feel. Jug is also kind of mediocre. Omni's pretty... Omni's really good against Troll, but it's just an Omni by himself. He can only purify and GA so many times in one game. Well, exactly, yeah. You're, right, you're absolutely right. So, we got Refresher coming in from Black soon. And, uh, nine stacked Bloodstone. They're smoked up. They're ready to go. Oh, blink out time. Wow. Just that timing. They're looking for Black and maybe try to go for a tour? This is gonna be tough. He pops the BKB. Look at the Bash's way! So absolutely no chance. Another Bash onto the Emperor. Oh man, but Shark in the back. He picks up a Mega Kill Streak off on Way 2. As he blinks away, he's trying to get the safety. It seems that he does do so. And then the Amber Spirit gets chased down. They draw out a defensive spike. Tiki Winky can't do much. He's chained up again and. Oh boy. That was not good. Another very great good trade for dire for Team Tinker. And, I mean, it, it's just kind of unfortunate. You have a you have an Axe who's 5-0 and 4, you have a Ember who's 5-0 and 8, and you're kind of getting thrashed, right? Like, that shouldn't happen. Yeah, like, those here should be running the game. And yeah, it, you just feel really helpless. Like, really That's just Troll's influence, man. Oh, the Shuffle comes in. Here comes the plays. Oh, he actually remnant through the steer. Well played. That's played by him. Yeah, that's how it's destroyed. Oh, he got a crit! Woo! Goodbye. Nice. Okay, so he's 6 and 8. He's still trying. He's got 2,000 more gold in the bank. What could he get that could possibly even think about turning this game around? Is there anything? He's going to get a double crit. Okay. Which, 
It does give you the, I mean, it does give you those random chances, right? Like, sometimes you're just gonna slice this, but hey, if you frag the Magnus and you frag the Earthshaker, that's a fight you could win, right? Like, afraid R and Jesus. Yeah, this is, this is a game for crits, if anything. Yeah, or TZ pick his own crits. Really it's cheaper than Rapier and less than But the Rapier gives you so much more damage. <laughs> that, it's true. But it's the the risk I think is maybe a little too high. Rip, what Rapier does do is clear stacks very quickly, but it doesn't give you that much. In the event that you crit, it doesn't give you that much. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I mean Team Tanker still pushing. Twenty two thousand net worth <laughs> for this troll at thirty two minutes. It, it it couldn't get any better for Arteezy right now. He's just sitting back in his chair. Mm. Probably playing with just one hand at this point. Just right clicking away. That's all he needs to do. Just right click, right click, right click, and press R. So he needs to use another hand ball, but now we find CY. No first hit bash, okay. I'm sure he can reach the ultimate button <laughs> with the one hand. It's not like he's got the uh, the faceless void that's like a T-Rex with short arms and can't, he can't use the keyboard or something. I love those concepts, those are fun. Oh, he dominated the wrong creep. Oh, he wanted the alpha wolf, I think. the small guy? Yeah, he dominated the little wolf. 20% damage, it's not so bad. <laughs> it's gonna crit once and just kill off the uh, Ember Spirit. But... Ember should have been... Oh no, actually, you're right, it's 1500. Uh... Hmm, still a really tough game for Tongfu. I mean, they're doing their best, but they're being outvisioned. I would I would love to see them do more of like a attempted divisioning, like this area. They're pinging. Oh, that's you pinging. No, that's, that's... I was like, wow, they're really smart. They know where to Z-War. Well, they should have they definitely seen this. Like, yeah. I mean, obviously, like, he would have been standing here when he placed it, so... <laughs> oh, jeez, the axe just dies too up top. Don't even need RP. It's just bubble shock waving. That's a huge kill. Yeah, losing the axe. It's 50 seconds on the deck. Does he have a buyback? He does, so... That at least helps. He... I don't think he'll need to. I, I don't think Tinker is going to press the three in those 40 seconds. They're just gonna... Wait until they get further ahead. Under the day nine. Can we, can we look at the graph real quick, net worth wise? Oh, 10,000 dip. Really do that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I guess we have to. You know, it's part of the casting job. 10,000 so. plus gold. And looking about the same story for XP. Yeah, I mean, Tonka were hanging in there until that fight that went disastrously with the failed Omni and the two mm -hmm. failed call pulls and the failed GA. And then things went poorly, and now Team Tinker has total map control, Tongfu's not de-warding at all, they have no vision at all, they have this little of vision, but uh, I guess they have a lane ward here, but... They can't leave their base except for Ember Spirit, really. RTZ just by himself, look, look at how cocky he's playing. <laughs> Jeez. I mean, he's got, at this point, the troll moves at max movement speed, because he has the letter button flutter, as well as the face moves. Oh, he's caught. Mm -hmm. No, Psy? Not gonna do it? Okay. I think he looks like Omni Gun. Chunk him down a little bit? I guess. Maybe. I mean, he Tries does he Yules, but the thing is, the Omni has Yules, but no Blink. If he had Blink Yules, then yeah, he could Blink Yules on TZ and the rest of the team could catch up. But because he only has the Yules, he has no interactivity at all with this trouble this time. Huh. It's kind of, it kind of just feels like they're just suffocating Tagfu at this point, waiting waiting to deal that one last blow. Yep. Yeah. Suffocating is definitely the right way to put it. Oh, you know, Blink. Black has a repression. They find way to get their first bash. Let's see. Oh, there's a fissure on top, though, so. There you go. Look at that damage. Yeah, I think it was that mom plus max soul catcher, too, where he just melts immediately. Paladin mm -hmm. is really showing off the different aspects of the Shadow Demon here. The level 1 Shadow Poison for zoning the offlaner as well as stacking creep camps. It's good for stacking jungle. Maxing the poison for damage, using disruption to dump the stack. Done everything. Oh, oh he, tried to, he tried to throw the purge there, but see why he got a division in time. There's the purge and the repel. See why? He's like, I'm running out, okay. But even so, it's nearly a free. Well, at least it's like a quarter. This is it. This is it. This is time. Here come the uh, illusions of Arteezy. Control gang squad with the illusions of Boba. They get the fissure on the side. Oh, he's just dead. 
buyback comes out. We got Shark getting pretty low too. He's getting chased out, but the GA is there. They got the Fissure on top, but the damage is just too much. Boba gets a double kill. Arteza gets a double kill. They're trying to slide a fist and make this work. Side just can't get anything off. He's gonna get rushed out here. He gets slowed up, disrupted, and he should be brought down, but there's a call to two. Side, can you help this one out? Gets the chase. Is there a double dunk? No, there isn't a triple kill for Arteza. Four staffing forward. Pilot die trying to go aggressive, and that, that might be it. Jeez Louise. That was so risky by the Ember. I thought he was dead. Really good move of Axe to save the Ember there. If the Ember dies, it's it's curtains. As it is, it's actually not, because he did manage to get enough slides. Oh man, Pile I die. Wow. Going all the way around there. That was uh, just the amount of balls coming out from Chin Ticker right now. I mean, they know how ahead they are. Yeah. At least at least Ember is still up. That's it's really, really important. And I actually did push them off because I did so much damage. When's the next Roche here? We got about two minutes on that? Yeah. So. I wonder. It, maybe Tung Fu might actually go for the all in smoke gank at Roche. It's iffy, but then again, if you get cheese and eat just the way to the full team, I don't see how you win. Yeah, I don't know. I don't even know what else to say. This 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 is a almost 30,000 net worth troll. Look at it. Go to town. Now we're a fresher orb too on the uh, Magnus. Double RP. Let's go. Is there a refresher orb too? Oh yeah, there's been a refresher orb on black for a long time. I mean, I just think maybe Axe is fading as a first pick material hero. I feel like he's been so effective. Like, he started really, really well, but as the game's dragged on, the Shadow Demon has completely neutralized him. And if you have a hero who's neutralizable by like such a low tier hero like this, maybe he's... I mean, Axe is still very, very strong, but I, I think he hasn't really been able to make the game impact that he wanted to this game. Hmm. Get the items too, he's no no blade mail, just the blink force. The force is absolutely nothing, because you get force to pull people back, and that's exactly what the disruption is ruined. So maybe like blade mail or something like that. Here's a 38 minute 6 slot too for RTZ. So, just needs oh, an Aegis. Right on time. <laughs> Perfectly on time. <laughs> oh god, that is way too scary. And Boba has refresher, and... Black is refresher. That's the main thing that the extra time gave them. It's not that Arteezy needs that money. It's that the other players who were started a little more behind now have that money as well. Now we can give them some farm, you know, give them some jungle oh, camps. Easy. That won't happen. <laughs> <laughs> but they'll find farm elsewhere. Yeah, he's like, you guys are on your own. How many losses does he have right now? 370. Not bad. Almost at a 10 creeps per minute. It's definitely a creep clicker. Pile die disrupting the shadow, the jug illusions to generate his own jug illusions. That's pretty sick too. Free, mm -hmm. not quite free tower damage, but even so. And once once our tour is ready, he will lead the charge for his team. Roche is back up in the next couple seconds, and then we see an Aegis and cheese. Such a low percentage. Oh wait, he got slowed. Scotty slows coming in. Okay, he's not gonna commit. Wow. If anybody ever decides to go in this lane, Tung Fu and A are ready. They're baiting. This is this is the the old bait and switch. I mean, they're not really baiting. <laughs> like they're baiting with creeps. They're like Arteezy, do you want to come click these? Creeps? <laughs> you want to go farm Arteezy? Come on, man, it'll be fun. Disruption. In the top lane, yeah. uh, oh jeez. Refresher orb comes on now, and it just it just doesn't seem like they can do anything. Omni Slash doing no damage to Arteezy. He's like, what is this? He's scratching my back. DKB comes out. He turns around, throws out the serious right clicks. He's gonna be able to take down Way. He's got a double kill. Do we see the rampage in this game? He's gonna go on the side. He's gonna get called and immediately. That. Axe is not like anything to do with him, but there's the Thundergon's Wrath. They're gonna skewer back the Axe, and this should just be GG for game one. Team Tinker, Team Standin, just going to town. Yeah, that's, that's, that thing at the end is what you get when the troll lands the Whirling Mist and has a butterfly. He has, he has MKB. <laughs> the Jug had an MKB. No, yeah, you're right. He finished his MKB before that. Radiant's Even so. I don't know. It's a tough game. Kung Fu, they actually played very, pretty well for a while and they won some fights, but then their their lineup was fragile and required them using all their spells really, really pinpoint precisely to win fights and they was farming so quickly and they didn't quite manage to do that. Alright, so that does it for game one between Tong Fu NA and uh, the mishmash of Team Tinker players. I'm EGAD or at EACast on Twitter and joining me here was uh Vikramond. I hope I say your name right. I'm pretty bad at pronouncing names. You can hit him up as well over there on the Twitterverse. And uh, don't forget to follow me on the Summit. Twitch, Twitter, and Facebook. You can pick up the iLeague ticket to in the store. And uh, we'll be back for game two. This is going to be a best of three. So we'll see if Tong Fu has, a, has what it takes to get to that point. But for now, hit a quick break, enjoy the music, and uh, we'll get that next game up for you as soon as possible.